So I just wanted to show you a little bit about how to create math worksheets in PowerPoint. And I guess you can actually make whatever kind of worksheets you want. I just wanted to, I'm just going to use math worksheets as an example. So what you want to do is uh, go into PowerPoint. And this is, this is a, uh, a PowerPoint that I already created of math worksheets. Um, here's one. And then I split it up into a few more. And what you can do is you can do any shape really that you want, but um, in any format. But I just put I just put the um, the numbers in the middle, and then each one of the se math sentences on a petal of this flower. And you can do it however you want, but that's how I did it. Um, and then there's another one where you can do whatever you want with it. Um, Here's a pumpkin that I did. Like, see, I have the numbers in the middle, and then the sentences on the sides. So now I'm going to show you how you can create worksheets like this. So I'm going to do a file. I'm going to do a new presentation. Now, um, PowerPoint automatically puts your slides into landscape, but you can change that, and you can put. Um, you can place uh, your slides in um, in a portrait view, which is of course what you really want for your worksheets. So I'm going to go up here to File, and I'm going to go down to Page Setup, and then I'm going to click this cute little button right here for land for portrait view. Okay, and there you go. You have a portrait view of your slides and so then I just like to change the slide layout to blank so that I can put pictures in there. Now what I like to do for making worksheets especially these math worksheets that I've been working on is I will go into I will open up a internet browser Safari works just fine um, but you can use whatever you want and I am going to search for flower coloring sheets. And I'm going to search images. And there's plenty of nice images. You know, you can do whatever shape you want. I just like doing the simple ones. So, um, I think I'm going to use this flower. So, I'm going to click the view image. And then I'm going to right click and um, instead of saving the image to my computer, I'm just going to copy it. So now I've copied it, minimize that, and I'm going to go back into my PowerPoint and I'm going to paste it in there. And since I'm on a Mac, I'm just going to click Command V for Command Paste. And there's my flower. And I think I am going to make this flower a little bit smaller and center it up a little bit. So then I want to put a text box in here because children should always put their names on their worksheets. So I'm going to put a text box, put it in here, and then I'm just going to do underscores and that has created a line for children to put their names on and then I am going to put in another text box because text boxes are cool and I'm gonna put it right into the center of this flower and um, I am going to I think I'm going to create a factor flower so I'm gonna put in I'm going to put in fact, actually I want to change the size of this because that's pretty small, so I'm going to change it to about 32. And I'm going to put in factors of, let's go, let's go with factors of 24. And then I am going to move this up a little bit. And I think I am going to make it like this, center it a little bit, 
And now I have my factors of 24, so students can come in here and they can write all the factors of 24 on these petals, which I think is really cool. And another thing I like to do is I like to do more text boxes, and um, I like to name my sheets, so I'm just going to put this up here, change my size, I'm going to put up factor flower, and then I want to center this. So that's just how to create a worksheet, and if you want you can do the you can do the same thing only smaller so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this pretty small like that and then I'm going to do command D for duplicate and that's just gonna duplicate my picture I'm going to do another one command duplicate and I'm gonna duplicate it twice and then put these up here and now you can come in and you can write whatever factors you want in your flowers. And then another thing that I think is kind of cool is you can put some really neat borders around your sheets, your worksheet, your worksheets. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click on shape, rectangles, and I think I am going to do a curved rectangle. So I'm just going to draw in my shape and now I'm gonna go up here to format and formats easy to see because it's this cute little purple tab and I'm gonna go to fill which is right here click the arrow and I'm gonna click no fill see now and then I think I'm going to make this a little smaller and I'm going to center it up a little bit that's not centered, so I'm going to recenter this. There we go. And now I'm going to change the line. I want the line to be black, and I'm going to go down here to weights, and I'm going to change how thick the line is. I'm going to change it to 6 point. So now I've got a thicker line, and I think I want to change my line to a dash. I'm going to put in this dash. So then when we go in here to slideshow, now we have a worksheet and the students can put in their factors of 24 or factors of whatever number you decide to put in there. I think that this method is especially is especially nice for um, math worksheets and writing worksheets. So, yep, that's just a basic tutorial on how to make math worksheets in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching.